is a girl, she's a star, she's got style, Steffi Star, you see her face, around the town, she's popular, Steffi Star. Hi, I'm Stephanie Weinstein, <laughs> and I'm Meredith what? Geach, and we're a top of Jesus real estate <sighs> team, and we have some really great realtors with us today. We know. Uh, uh, and I'm not a good team player. You're, well, you're getting better. We had a horrible team meeting this morning. Mm. Hello, can you introduce us? Oh, oh sorry. Okay, let's, <laughs> introducing, <laughs> introducing the one and only Spitfire mm. Realtor, mm. and... The blonde of all blondes. <laughs> Bombshell blonde. <laughs> Bombshell. Uh, can you put your phone away? Skinny. Well, Emma was texting me. Wicked skinny. Skinny. So right. skinny. I can't even see her anymore. Don't right. stand sideways. She's yeah. with a... Kerry <laughs> Rapolo. In the house. <laughs> and the <laughs> ravishing. Oh, God. Is she going? Just... Oh, stop it, girl. And single. <laughs> and ready to mingle. <laughs> Single, ready to mingle. Oh. Alexa, Katie, Wine. Hi, oh, look, I haven't been on in so long. It's been a while. It's been a long time. I'm ready to rock and roll. Can we? Can we just get our? Com- can we get our <laughs> complaining corner starts Swipe now? Left. All right, I, I just need to complain for mm. five minutes. Yep. Uh, okay. Stephanie's uh, on a timer. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay. I. Okay, first of all, my hair is horrific. Mm-hmm. Your okay. hair? Oh, it's horrible. I don't just think agree. I don't just think agree. Just okay. okay, number okay. two, I looked in the mirror when I got in the car. My eye makeup is a disgrace. Okay, that's right, number next. two. I can't even put my eyeliner on straight anymore. Mm. The, next. The team meeting this morning. Nobody was listening to mm-hmm. me. Okay. Nobody had anything to say. Mm. Nobody came on camera, and there was I fully muted, put my camera yep. off, and was showering. And yeah, ready. nobody cares. I think everybody should be fired. Yeah. There was major so, dead silence. Yeah, it was it was deafening. Yeah. It the was silence was really deafening. And, and and I looked so ugly because I just got back from my walk. My hair was Rosanna Dana Dana mm. with gray mm. in the because I had the. And there's no time for anything. Right. I feel rushed on a well, daily basis. Everything, there's no time for me. None. Never. Well, Any of us. Do I have more time? Then I had to prepackage Alexa. She wanted tuna and egg salad and lox. I said I would come and do it all. And she. No, because she w- she wanted it for lunch. So I had to make sure I brought it. Very Anything nice. else? I love there was a giant box in the way in my garage, That's and I seven. couldn't open my. <laughs> so what did, did you kick the box? I said Anthony, <laughs> and he brought the box inside. Okay. Do you have anything else? Was it a bunch of burgers that he ordered from Omaha State? I don't know. No, it's <laughs> a ca- it's a cabinet he's putting together for the garage. <laughs> okay. Burger. My nail he's got a freezer. He's like, <laughs> my nail is on the verge of breaking. Mm. That that is the worst. Mm-hmm. I will say. Mm-hmm. My pants are tight. No. Yeah. yeah. All right. One more. Kick it off. Ten. We need ten. One more. You can do it. And you you sweat. You're in menopause. No, well, that's just a daily thing. Yeah. I mean, that's a yearly thing. Mm-hmm. I, didn't know. I, don't, I don't. That was added to the list. I don't know. I um, guess I'm okay with Melinda nine. Melinda did nine. We'll do All nine. right. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Good job. That was fine. Thanks. I was safe for effort. Mm. Thanks. Feeling good. Yeah. I feel better. Okay. Karen, okay. any complaints you want to get off your chest? Oh, too many, but Give us a couple. this is really public radio, so yeah. maybe we don't <laughs> disclose a lot your of complaints. Things. Your complaints. PG complaints. Your complaints are private. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, yeah, no, I'm glad the sun is out, right? Mm. Yeah. Get outside today. I will say. I like your necklace, by the way. Do you work Thank out you. in the morning, Carrie? Do you go for a walk or do anything? Or you don't, yes. don't do anything else? I love to walk. That's Me all too. I do. So Me I'll go too. for walks. How many? How long? How far? We love a walk. We're depends. A depends. Sometimes I get a nice burst of energy, and I might go five miles. Excuse me. But sometimes too. It's all time permitting. You know, I do the same path every day. Mm. Two point two. I was just gonna mm. say, Carrie, do you walk by your house? What's yeah. your vibe? You're walking. Go back. down. Yep. Every street. Please don't yep. say up and down, street. and then we go across. It's stalkers. To we have stalkers. The other. <laughs> we don't want people oh. to stalk you. Yeah. No, I walk very far from where I live. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Just kidding. She drives yeah. to where yeah. she's walking. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I may or may not be carrying. So, May yes. yeah. or a gun. People, mm, people carry Or it. just yes. a vape. Yeah. <laughs> weed pen. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's carrying a weed pen and a glass of wine, so do not mess with her. Oh, well, imagine. One of my sons has been telling the other son in fits of rage, you're a vapor. Oh. And the older son really? says, why do you keep saying I vape? Yeah. I don't vape. Listen, yeah. that's not and even... the younger son goes, well, you're such a dick to me. So that's you're... why I say it. Uh-huh. And I said, but what does it have to do with people that vape? <laughs> yeah, I'm, that's, I'm not understanding the correlation. Don't and I don't usually get the lingo. Apparently, that I don't get. this is insulting. Telling right. one kid, telling another. You're Mom, vapor. you're a mm, vapor. Mm. This is going to be my new saying. You know what, Keach? <laughs> you're a vapor. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the new set. Sorry. This was 9.30 last night. In bed, in bed, battle going. Yeah. You're a vapor. You're yeah. a vapor. It's so simple. Mom, what the F? Do they still have bunk beds? They do. Who's on the top? Keith? Well, this bunk, loft bed, loft bed, battle going across. Oh, I forgot. Mm. They have the hole mm-hmm. underneath. Okay. It was a battle of the loft beds. You're a vapor. No, you're a vapor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Alexia, got any complaints? <laughs> Um, no, I just got a really, I was just telling Meredith something about my deal. It's going very well. I think it's all going to close on time. So I'm actually really happy Let's back it up just a second so we can Mm. loop carry it. Can I give a premise? Yes, absolutely. Alexa to Stephanie and I. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I just got off the phone with the loan officer. He said this place can't be sold. They, they, it will never happen with a loan. You can't do a conventional. You can't do any other type. And it's going to have to go off market. And then we can only sell it with a cash Mm. buyer. Now let's go back one step further. It's yep. a condo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So why? I mean, we dabbled a little bit before oh. we talked about, but I want to yeah. know why. So I called Meredith and, mm. and mother, and they mm. were like, mm, "That's not true at all." Mm. And I'm like, that, "Well, that's what he told me. That's what the <laughs> loan officer." They're like, "Well, that's not true." So, what was the issue? Fast forward. Fast forward. Alexa did a lot of digging. She I did a lot of calling. Did... She did a lot of talking. She took and a lot I of have septic a, system. I have a septic beautiful... system. Yeah, telling I... our audience. Mm. So the condo Shout complex. out to Ryan Munden at Old Property Colony. We love him. Old Colony Property. So standard <laughs> process. Mm. Uh, you you got to get your septic system mm-hmm. replaced. Whether Listen, it's a single family home or condo. Mm. It's a pain. Does this, this but stop it's a whole you know, complex. It's right. not, complex. You, it's oh, not guess, that particular guess what? unit. Yes. We're pretty issue. sure we're going to close on time yeah. next yeah. next. Uh, next yeah. month. Yeah, they, that's why you. And have Alexa had several fees. loan officers <laughs> that said, "Sorry, never close this. Oh, I yes. actually had probably three or four that said, "Sorry." Are you telling me a seller can't sell his home? I yeah. know that needs to sell. That's what my mom called me. She's like, "You're telling me that this yeah. poor seller." can never has to stay there and can't sell his own property right yeah and i'm like that doesn't even make i sense. said this is balder dash yeah <laughs> yeah just because the septic failed doesn't I mean if the toilet's still flushing is everything still yeah, you know there's so many things that go into failure. a failure yeah, yeah. So, no. it's, no. so you're fine yeah. mm, it's failed so it sounds it's like failed, somebody but got it's not really in worked failure out. there's a difference right. like sewage is raw sewage is leaking out that's like that's yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. when you go i don't want to buy that's it anyway and that's when you have to we have that on foundation yeah yeah that's a board of health issue yeah talk later we'll yeah. talk later but no a lot everything of no sewage coming in the condo oh not in the condo yes yeah, no. that's, yeah, what I'm that's about. failure oh, in okay. failure yeah no, we're good so yeah. is this bossy the same... construction is taking care of it yeah, shout out to great. bossy yeah. we oh, love awesome. boss next fine. yeah bossy we're good i'm everything. good yeah so wait one final question on this is yes. the um loan officer that gave you such a hard time still the loan officer like is this no the same this guy? i reached out to other that weren't they weren't even on this deal i reached out to many others nice but yeah so we're good good it's so, a, learn, so, learn so you know what is you when you're tenacious yep. and you just keep asking and keep asking and keep asking and do a little more digging. So I'm kind of in a good mood and yes. I I enjoy the the fall crisp air. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I I'm in a good mood. I don't know why. Wait, but I had a I question am. for you last yes. night when I was texting you. Why did you say, Mother? I'll just call you tomorrow. Because I don't. I'll discuss. That, that's a no. That's a hard no. Oh. I don't know who you were talking to, but no. Trying to set me up with someone hard. No, I'll tell oh. her why later. Oh. Just no. Drawing a line in the yes, sand. Yes, I'm like, I'll call mm. you. No. Oh, he mm. looked cute. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, fine. Next. Okay, so let's <laughs> talk about the weather, though, real quick, because I have, I feel like right now I'm at that. <laughs> Did someone too? It's the chair. I'm like, there was like a, <laughs> I, I think I'm up against I'm the like, pole. Oh, there it is. Adam, yeah. the, <laughs> the pole goes right in, in the, the car. Adam, <laughs> like, seriously. Poor Carrie has a pole in her Every couch. guest right, has a pole in between their legs. <laughs> I feel like single guest. The first I feel like our maturity level my... is dropping Sorry. by the minute here. Okay, care. Care. listen. Back to you and the weather. Sorry. Okay. 
right now in this very moment i feel like we're we're in that state that's like cold and you can't get warmed up uh, yeah. not because because it's yet. not Bullshit. by the no, end I'm of the day right now it's like no. you put your heat on my house was 49 degrees yeah. this morning yeah. it was cold mine was not your house is usually cold okay in it is winters. but it's like extra cold right yeah. now well, it's like from 7 to 12. You know what I'm it's, saying? It's winter. Yes. <laughs> and then from 12.01 yes. until yes. about 4 p.m., it's spring. Now yes. notice I am in sleeveless. And at yes. 4 in the morning, yeah. I'm dying of heat yes. because that's something mm-hmm. else mm-hmm. with fans on my body. But yes. it's like oh, this weird, I need to like, sleep in a freezing cold room. I need too. fans. I need AC mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. I need it all. Dark. Yep. Everything. Yes. Yep. Cold no. hotel room. Mm-hmm. An ambient. Mm-hmm. And oh, Mayor, can we go back to the breakers and, and, and sleep in, in air conditioning? Or, in or the again? stuff they give you before a colonoscopy. No. Yeah. By the way, I just had one of those. Oh, good job. Oh, how'd it go? We good? I'm fine. We 10 good, years, yeah. but oh my God. <laughs> Isn't awful. it the most wonderful sleep? Yeah, but then I woke up all cramped up. So oh, because yeah. oh, yeah. you're dehydrated. Well, everything was wrong. Yeah, yeah, I was like, what? And everybody else was like, yeah, we're going to leave and well, go. Then... And I was like, why am I the only one? Oh, yeah. No, I do remember walking hunched over. Okay. Does and it all come out after, after, though? Like, No, it's just your your Like you don't wake up all... and it's all coming out? No, no, there's, no, you're there's empty. nothing to come out. There's nothing. There's nothing. You oh. are completely empty. Well, I don't empty. know. I've never you been. have liquid coming out of your yeah. butt. You pee out of your butt. So do you want to yeah. know what happened to me? I got the bad, the jug where you add the water to the, um, to this, what do you call it? Oh. The stuff that's in there. It looks like crystal light. And so you you oh, put the it's water in. It's, it's hard. Is this too loud? Am I too loud? No, no. I think it's actually. No. no. Yeah. Okay. Actually, maybe get I a think little closer. I think come a little closer. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's better. Yeah. Adam's have a good. So, um. Uh, you have to drink two liters of this stuff between 4 and 6 p.m. the night before. Mm. And then the final two liters, four to five hours prior to. That's bullshit. I didn't get it and all what, completed. Oh, Can what, we swear? So, oh, I don't know. I keep swearing. What time was your colonoscopy? <laughs> At 10. So it actually worked out, Did you right? go to Good yeah. Sam? So, yeah. Yeah. So Did they know you when you walked in? Uh, no. Did they say, that is Carrie Polo, really, oh. a spitfire <laughs> who will work ferociously for you? Actually, I was like, I hope I don't see anybody because this is embarrassing. And then, I of did. course, they see a colleague. Who did you see? Mine. I'm, yeah. I'm on the bed sideways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. And somebody That's goes, yes. hey, Meredith. No. It's Mrs. Luco. How no. are you? Yes. I was like, hi. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Luca. I love her. That's How are things? <laughs> and then after I called Stephanie and said, get me the F uh-huh. out of here yeah. right now. Yeah. I wanted Yikes. to like, my mom came. But yeah, so I forgot. So I only drank one liter the night before. So oh. I woke up at three in the morning to finish the rest. Ugh. And there, I look over and I go, there's a lot left in that. I don't think... Oh my God, I have to drink three liters right now. It's three in the morning. I have to choke it back for two hours. I, this makes me angry. Yeah, I me was too. throwing <laughs> up. It was throwing awful. up. Wait. Because there's nowhere else for it to no. go. It's like, we're... oh my God, Carrie. And that, yeah. So, but anyways, it was fine. That sounds really fun. 10 years. So now I have 10 years before I have to go back. Oh, really? It's every mm-hmm. 10? If you get a clear. Okay. You clear to close, baby. Clear I to close. Clear to CTC. Colon. Yeah, clear, clear to close. Clear to You're good. <laughs> Close. Well, She's the good. first, I had to go back several times. Now, the first time I woke up from anesthesia, I woke up and I went, are you my boyfriend? <laughs> Was he cute? And I knew it wasn't right, but it just came out. Mm-hmm. Second time, fine. Third time, I woke up during the process. And the anesthesiologist goes, oh. You're awake. What was the process? Wait, what were the you The process doing? was the tube up the arse. You were getting the colonoscopy <laughs> Correct. and you woke up. I woke up. And you remember so It was how... towards the end. I was fine. They're like, we're just about done here. I'm like, <sighs> okay. Did they put you now, back to sleep? Did you feel anything? Were they I, like, oh, like, pumper? Well, I think he just gave me a little bit more, but it was pretty much over. Yeah. But, but like, mother, did you feel oh, yeah, anything awake. when you awoke? I don't know, but you was know what? Was it pleasurable? Yeah. Were you having fun? You know, I'm going to say it wasn't so bad. <laughs> Oh, God. I mean, that's what we all yeah. do. Now, now let me tell you this, because those of you who have not had a colonoscopy, mm-hmm. you better friggin' go and get your colonoscopy, because yeah. over here, Weinstein had a 20 millimeter precancerous that was growing. Mm-hmm. They took it out. They tattooed me. I had to go back a year later. Now, mother ha- passed of colonoscopy. Yeah. If she had gone... Not, not colon cancer, cancer, not colon cancer. I'm sorry. Oi, yeah. I take that back. People. Yeah. Mother yeah. died of colon cancer. Mm-hmm. There was nothing else wrong with her in yeah. this world. She right. was healthy, vibrant, and absolutely stunning. And the funniest person mm-hmm. on earth 
Besides Carrie Rapolo. Right. <laughs> if mother had I just gone. Say, besides you, me. Yeah, if, Carrie, if Carrie, if mother had just gone for her colonoscopy, <laughs> mm-hmm. she yeah. would be alive today. So, folks, please go. My sister and I both had a 20 mm-hmm. millimeter. So break. scary. Mm-hmm. And that makes now, me scared now. When too. Meredith K. Keach first got her colonoscopy, she goes, I need somebody to pick me up. I go, I'll do it. She goes, fine. So she got dropped off. <laughs> she was off. angry about She it. also went to good Sam and whatever. So I, so she texts me, get me now. So I come <laughs> over see. and I, directions for me aren't. So anyway, so I go uh-huh. and I'm like, excuse me, um, where do I find Meredith K. Keach? Mm. She's like, what is she, what, day surgery? <laughs> I said, well, I guess so. She goes, go down the hall, take a left, take a right, take a second left. Turn around ten times and go through the right door. I go. This is actually factual because I've been yeah. there. And mother, I said, like mother has there. dyslexia. I, think. I said I'm gonna so. get lost. She goes, if you can't find this, what the hell is wrong with you? Did wow. she really say that? Yes, yes. I swear yes. to God. That's them. Broad. That's them. That's yeah. their for you. She yeah. screamed Shut up at me. Samaritan. She said, Did you, you say have- what a broad? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. What a broad. She broad. told me, goddamn broad. She told me the woman told me I have problems if I can't find where I'm going. Yeah. I mean, so I get to where she's I'm not going, wrong, and I'm like, I go to the desk. Go, hi, I'm here to pick up Meredith K. Keach. So they're Where'd like, they like procedure. I'm like, colonoscopy. They're like Meredith K. Keach yeah. colonoscopy. Yeah. <laughs> there is no shame. No. They pull you right out. No. They're like, do you need to use yeah. the bathroom beforehand? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no. Oh, and like, if I did, um, there's literally an army of people yeah, in this just stupid sitting around. Johnny's just sitting around yeah. looking at each other. It's, yeah. it's why? terrible. Wait, why? Well, no, that's before. So you're in the waiting room, I'm fully petrified. clothed. Because it's the only back. place where we go around here. That's where you go to the hospital. All right, right. Anthony, another one in. All right, yeah. so then you go back. going to a strip mall. So oh. then they bring. <laughs> It's Taco Bell. Well, Taco Bell just gets all cleaned out. All our hospitals shut down. So yeah. we, this is it. Well, yeah. Anthony's yeah. going to a strip mall, and I said, Where? okay, Joan Rivers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Joan, good luck with that. Poor Joni. R.I.P., baby. He R.I.P. Joan. He comes out, his ass is ripped in half. <laughs> he was also going to a strip mall dentist. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Who was giving him every procedure under the sun. <laughs> and when he came to my... He barely did. He was like, up in years. He's like, hey. <laughs> He had all gold teeth. Yeah. When he came to my dental hygienist, and she goes, terrible. Your gums are in terrible health. She picks your teeth them up. look great. But you... Two years later, she goes, now that you're hanging out with the Weinsteins, you have beautiful gums. I said to Anthony, you're welcome. Yeah. yeah. You might have just saved a very expensive dental procedure. I did. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got nothing. Thank right God now. for the wine. Scene. I don't even know where we were. Like, what were we even I talking I about? I don't know. I don't know. Like colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So good. Check so it out. Up, list. So you picked up Mare and they said they screamed. I picked up Mare. They screamed and she got out. And that was I it. ran. That was the end of ran. our there, colonoscopy. There's no now. privacy no. back there. They hang. You know, usually they, those those sheets that are just, yes. like the emergency yes. room. Right. So you can and hear everybody's conversation. So these HIPAA laws are just gone right up. Oh, there's no such thing as HIPAA there. Next to you, do you have gas? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yes. Do you have chin hairs? <laughs> I'm having liquid diet. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, oh my god! And they couldn't find a vein, so I oh walked god. out of there looking like a heroin. Oh, I like, like my like, mom. Oh, Are you a hard prick? <laughs> yes. No, I'm a very I, easy. I was dehydrated. Yeah. It was no oh. veins left. Oh, I'm very easy. Like, like, left in you. Nothing. Yeah. You're like you. You're I'm cramped. <laughs> <laughs> but they put you back there and they go, okay, you have to take all your clothes yeah. off. And she goes to You're shut like, the curtain. Whoop, whoop. And the curtain's still open like yeah. this. They don't right? care. They don't, they don't care. There's a guy over Here's there. Here's your paper There's bag. A... Yes. You can put your stuff in here. Yeah. You know so what? I'm like, it's a good show corner. for that guy. No, I hid in the corner. Because you're so like... modest. <laughs> <laughs> She's really yeah, quiet. But didn't, yeah, but didn't you want to show off your skinny body? Yeah, well, kind of. But. Can we talk, Can we about, talk about how Carrie lost? We are so <laughs> jolly. Carrie, Carrie walked in. Oh, I go in my mind, who's that blonde who's lady? That? Like, she's That's how skinny terrible and gorgeous. That's how terrible I used to look. And, and I'm I like, walked, Carrie? And I walked in and I said, too bad our guest isn't here yet. Because <laughs> we didn't even recognize. <laughs> it was like when my mother came up to me in the airport after I got a brand new hairdo. Yeah. And she came up to me and she goes, excuse me. I said, yes. <laughs> she goes, do you know what flight 427? I'm like, mother, it's me. No. Yes, true story. She went, ah. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, but didn't you have like a male? Haircut? I had a giant curly hairdo, mm -hmm. and I went to makeovers in Easton, and Ed said, your hair is disgusting. Mm -hmm. You are working in Boston now, and you need a big girl hairdo. Okay. He colored my hair and cut it all off and gave me this stunning short haircut, and I looked French. No. And that that's... is why mother picked mm. me out of the crowd and she, she said, said to bonjour. herself, she goes, that is an adorable little French yes, girl. Yes, bonjour, <laughs> madame. Let me ask her if the flight came in. My mother never recognized oh, me. Oh my yes. goodness. So why? Anyway, that is great. Why did you look at me French? I looked French because <laughs> I had a short. Were you in a beret? I had, what a, was I had a short haircut. She was haircut. carrying a baguette. Yeah. It looked very yes. Parisian. And I French had a fries. <laughs> Like escargot in her pocketbook. Like, just what's going listen, on? Just a, a nice that, sharp bob. It right? was a, a sharp, sharp bob, bob that yeah. the Parisians wear. Oh, oh they do. I didn't know. Yeah. Wait, they don't wear this. Where did we go? This is Dorothy. It was, it was. It was. It was. I, mom, I oh. thought you got like a men's cut number two. Like I thought it was like a high tight. <laughs> no, but to save money when I was a young child, mm. father would bring me to the barber. <laughs> so I got the mm. bangs mm. like this, mm. right? Oh. And it was yeah. much cheaper to go to the barber. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mayor's crying. <laughs> Not like I grew up poor. What about Shay? Shay uh, Meredith's daughter just learned about a blowout. She uh, requested to Meredith, I would like one once a week, please. <laughs> once a week. Yes. And I agree with like, like Meanwhile, she looked amazing. I agree with Shay. She Shout aged. Shout out five years. Broke at the cuttery. Yeah. She yeah. looked stunning. Wow. Yeah. Stunning. So Shay's getting a bullet once a week. Yeah. Once Wait a minute. dreams. Right. Yes. She's and she should. She yeah. should. Yeah. Okay, so Carrie Rapola walks in. Mm. None of us recognize her. Right. She turned to the side. We couldn't see her. It was flat, not flat. Her Stanley. Stanley. Flat, <laughs> flat Carrie. Flat Carrie. FK. Flat Carrie. Should we make flat Carries and put yes. them around town? Like she could slide into the door. You guys are so we way said, too Carrie, nice. So I'm, nose, I'm so nosy. I go, Carrie, how'd you do it? Mm. And Carrie she said, said, I ate less exercise no. more. I now mm. go to the gym. Mm. I do spin class seven nah. days a week. I she said, I'm gluten free, vegan free, no. animal free. No, I do feel bad. For I'm animals. lactose intolerant. Tell us, mother, right. stop making this about you. Carrie, tell us what you did. I am taking Fen Fen. Fen Fen. Now, Hashtag I, feel Fen like, Fen. I feel like Fen Fen was from the 80s. I think it was, and it was killing people. Heart attacks. But Carrie said, don't <laughs> worry. Carrie said, they took I, out the I'm chemical in. that was giving heart attacks and making people go into cardiac arrest. So don't worry. We're good it's now. It's science. It's, so how is Ben Ben different from Ozempic? I have no idea, but it's Should literally I it? just... Is it a pill? Yeah, it's a pill. That's and you take it once a day. I mean, who wants to inject and themselves? I'm never hungry. Oh. I mean, I, so I get hungry. So it's an hungry. appetite suppressant? It's an appetite suppressant. Do, are and your taste buds you, weird or no? no? And it gives you um, lots energy. of energy. Oh. So, so like, she's literally not eating and, and, and like yipped up on Ben Ben. I do eat sensibly. But it's like, I'm not hungry until almost like three in the afternoon or two in the afternoon. And then what do you have to eat? I do something like sensible, you know. I just so try it's to like it. you're basically um, intermittent fasting. Yes, yes. The diet yes. pill was yanked off the market in 1997 because mm. of its association with serious cardio cardiovascular problems. Well, mm. now Carrie doesn't care. No, she, it rather was, be thin. No, they, anything to <laughs> be. This is Fen Fen phase two. Phase two. Yeah, yeah, 2.0. 2.0. Wow. One time yeah. my, my dentist was on Fen Fen back in the day. On that, was she like? And, no, and he, I was in the chair for hours and he was putting bondings on me. <laughs> my mouth was open for five hours was straight. Was like, oopsie. I went home. I, I couldn't even, mm. I was exhausted. I wake yeah. up, all the bondings fell off. Oh God! It, it was, was it was, was like fan face. yipped up and ready to go. That, see, I mean, I feel totally normal, it, and this is only like a uh, it's like a how long have you been doing it? Yeah, so two months, and you really wow. don't want to be on it for more than four. So after four, it's up to you to maintain the what you've lost. So I mean, so how how what's that gonna look like for me? I know because yeah. it'll be like winter. <laughs> Then you'll be like, I'm hungry. We That's do have a treadmill. Get. I know. So it'll just have to be, I don't know. I have to really like. Well, maybe now you, you'll be used to not eating that Well, much. that's just it. I wake right. up, I'm not starving. Like your stomach is probably like. It's smaller. Yes. yes. It yeah. kind of shrinks and you're not going to wake up ravenous yeah. like you used to be. Exactly. And it gives you the ability to create those habits. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, yeah. Some people woke right, up so today and had kugel and a potato hockey. Would she be Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I I was gonna say, I woke up and I said I'm just gonna have I am gonna have um, a tangerine and an apple and I like to eat vegetables in the morning mm -hmm. but I've been a little off track since 
breaking the fast. Yom Kippur. Yesterday, yeah. I had made a bagel with tuna. I got tuna from Zadie's. Oh, so yeah. It's good. delicious. Yeah. And I opened the fridge to go get my fruit, and then I saw the tinfoil wrapped bagel with tuna. Yeah. So that's what I How ate. How can you breakfast. not? But well, now no, I'm no. not hungry. I won't eat until tonight. Right. But still. That's no fun. Yeah. Well, I'm not hungry. I think the key is not eating late, right, too. So when you, like, you, I know. T- you know, some people can snack all day and that works for them. What works for me is probably more of the intermittent fasting because if I'm not eating and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm going out for walks and then whatever I am eating, it's like getting burned off, right. you know. What do you think you're doing for calories a day? Um, probably a standard 1,200 or, you know, 1,000. I'm not going crazy. So, like, I, I will stop myself if the kids are eating a cookie or whatever. I used to just, like, take a right. couple. Yeah. Now I'm like, eh, you don't need it. So it's like right. a mindset. You it have is. to also totally change. Is. So it's not just like a magic pill. You have to commit well, to, of course. Right. to making sure that, you know, you're you're not eating the wrong stuff and, and working with it, working yes. with the medication. I've learned, like, myself, I'm a volume eater. Like, I want to eat. If mm-hmm. I'm going to eat, I want to like eat Like, the whole plate, yes. too, right? Yes. But I've been following this girl on TikTok, and she's like, you can still do that, but you don't have to eat a whole plate of chicken parm and pasta. <laughs> you can volume eat with vegetables mm. and a little bit, you know, protein mm-hmm. and, like, be have, like, a healthy... Well, you can yeah. volume eat, right, exactly. vegetables right. and Volume eating yes. healthy right. and but not, not vegetables carbs and oil. But well, whatever. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I but can't. mom, the, the Greeks have been eating olive oil for like hundreds know. of Dog. thousands olive, of years. The and they're like so healthy. diet is Documented supposed to be okay. Well, that's mm-hmm. mother. Well, I, right. So I, I do watch like a lot of different videos about a lot of different stuff. And I have been watching videos with Dr. McDougal. Okay. He's been a doctor for over 50 years. And basically Ugh, Dr. She McDougal thinks says. He is Jesus reincarnated. Is well, She's like, well, Dr. McDougal wouldn't do that. I'm like, I don't really <laughs> care, okay? I really don't care. Dr. What McDougal Dr. says. Where is this man from? Well, I'm Dr. Like, who Mc- even is he? Dr. McDougal says the American diet is the worst diet mm. of any well, that diet we know. That's- in the entire world. And we are getting all these autoimmune diseases yeah. because our body, because of the stuff we're eating. Why do you think and colon cancer is now because we're eating chemicals? And, and it's have you read the back said, of a Dorito package? But he's it's saying, my favorite, but have you seen? So I he's saying animals and sugar and dairy mm-hmm. is food poisoning. He said He's it is wrong. so hard for your the, body. I go back and forth with the animals. He because... said it's so hard for your your body. They it, that is not what your body wants, and it's it takes so what long about the cavemen? to be able to digest that yeah. and the inflammation the and everything that. Well, it maybe. Causes. He's speaking about not all, like, I think Americans no, eat a about, lot of meat. So if you were to, like, he's add like, in chicken it's and... He's like, disgusting. Really? So, he no, I mean, mean, I don't know. Chicken breasts were on sale this week. Hmm. I get my boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I bring them home to go cut them up. It was this big. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. It was, they pumped I put them. my hand next to it. Mm. It was bigger than my hand. They pumped them breast? with yeah. growth hormones. I don't, I don't even know Alexis what bird that was. So big. That yeah. was so bad. I said, that's <laughs> it. I mother says like, my breath. I need to find organic. Hormones. I've already gone and off. And the meats. Yeah, could be. Go, meats going off. Meats. I don't buy them in the regular grocery store anymore. What about Bruce Bradford? He's off the meat and he looks fat. He's an agent in our office. He looks so good. I'm not going off the meat, but I think that we have to be mindful of what goes into the just saying, you're poisoning yourself with the food you're eating. Yeah. yeah. Period. The end. But he's mom, like, do what you want. That's not a new thing. Everyone knows that. Mm. But no one does it. But, but thank God in I, Massachusetts. Because everything's so easy to just All of our eggs now are cage free. I mean, I know a lot of vegetarians. Doesn't, that's all. Know? doesn't even matter. But they're so in packs. Dr. McDougal does They're all on top of each other. They have yeah. like 10 arms and legs. Who can yes. talk yeah. with this one? <laughs> Dr. McDougal doesn't call himself a vegetarian mm. because he says there are so many fat vegetarians Ooh. that think it's okay to wow. eat Doritos and all the junk food that uh, they're just not eating animals. What so he, he prefers to call, he just prefers to call it the starch diet. Oh. And that's and he's rice, beans, legumes. That's what he's eating. Corn. That's oh, all I'd he be five hundred pounds if I, I was eating. That's all but starch. see, but if I think guess it's what? All up there's to... no fat in a potato. No, but it's you know, I think at the end of the day, that no, everyone's bodies no, are different. Yes. No, there's no. I want you to Google no. the starch diet. Okay. It's oh my god. Now that you're making this your whole personality. <laughs> no, I'm not saying <laughs> she anything. Is. No, do you I walk around saying yes, talking about every day the starch diet? Yes, she does. Hashtag doctor. You know what? I'm not saying another word for the rest of this podcast. <laughs> you be. Okay, now, next topic. 
<laughs> all right, fine. Anyway, no, she's talking. you look amazing. Thank you. We yes. love yes. you. We Thank are you. all fans of you. Thanks. We are your fangirls. Yes. We you. support your gorgeousness <laughs> and thinness. And, and I'm excited you have more energy. Oh yep. You're outside walking. Mm-hmm. Right. Like that, the healthy piece of it is yeah. really yeah. I can't. Mm-hmm. I wish I could stop eating early. Oh, that's a dumb wish. What do you mean? Well, like in the, the day? No, the problem is my lifestyle right now yeah. is going out every night. Yeah. That's hard. It's and then, hard like, to when you have a, two drinks, then you're like, oh, my God, that crab and goo looks so good. <laughs> yeah. right. Or, like, the nachos look good. And then and you're like, all right, I might as well get I mean, it's part of my – and mm-hmm. I meet a lot of people mm-hmm. out, and it's part of my job, really. I get really. it. I get it. Right? So mm-hmm. one of my bartenders was looking for a multi. Another bartender <laughs> has a house in Milton that he's getting ready. I'm going to look at it Monday. Nice. And so this is part of my world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so – but I wish I could just have a – Dirty martini and eat nothing. <laughs> Laurie Friedman, my friend, yes. said years ago, she said to me, you either eat or, or you, you drink. drink. You, you cannot, cannot do both. Do me and Brooke say that all the They're, time. We're like, what did Laurie say? some truth say? to that, it's you true. know? Yeah. All this now, stuff. I saw or, another friend last or night. Or you just count and you figure out how much the dirty martini is. <laughs> yeah. And I've moved to White Claws because of the sugar content want... isn't there. And so yeah. I'm, that's kind of my drink now. See, what I'm about vodka? I'm a vodka girl. You, won't do, you won't do a vodka soda? Oh, guys, guys. Me on vodka should oh, never no. happen. Oh, no. It is yeah. a disaster. <laughs> Wait, Harry this is off topic. on vodka is a no no. This is off topic. I saw my friend last night, and her other friend asked if she could borrow some jewelry from her. And then the friend that was borrowing jewelry from her, jewelry from her, she goes, "Is this real?" She goes, "I'm gonna tell you this. Everything on my body is fake, <laughs> oh. but my jewelry is real." <laughs> and I thought that was I kind of love that. Yeah. I go, "Wait a minute! I got my eyes done. Does that make me fake?" So I'm 90% real. Mm. Yeah. 10% fake. How did you come up with that percentage? I don't know. Yeah. Well, all right. Apparently, her eyes are 90% of her. You're 10%. 10%. Yeah. I'm 10%. 10% I'm sorry. Is my 10% eyes. Eyes. Yeah. of your yeah. being. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't that hysterical? I kind of love that. Everything mm. on my body is fake. Yeah. I can't wait to hear who said that. But my jewelry is real. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Love. It was a good one. Yeah. What else? Carrie, do you have any mm. good gossip? Anything mm, good? Probably. Any good <laughs> fights lately? <laughs> any PG gossip, gossip that... Uh, mm. I have a great deal going on. Going How's real estate? Now. Good. All of a sudden, it just everything picked up. So I've right. got a few listings good. coming on. I, my buyers Sweet. are starting to get back into it. I think yep. they were getting very defeated after yeah. there was a it's lot tough. of... It's tough. Yeah. Yes. What towns are your listings coming on? Can you tell us that? Yes. Can you tell us towns? One in Milford coming on. It's nice. a Condex. So okay. no HOA. Two oh. bed. Oh, I like that. One and a half bath okay. in Milford. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to have another one in Taunton. Is a condominium. Taunton. Oh, great no condos in Taunton. F- yeah, no FHA on this one, unfortunately. Mm. Not even a spot approval? No. No. There's too many renters. I don't know. It, it, I mean, oh. it would depend on the loan, Did perhaps. <laughs> Sorry. Um, mm-hmm. And then the other one, maybe a Taunton single family. I'm still working with them and trying to get something going on. Get there. it, girl. Tom, yeah. Tom, 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 Tom. Get, get it, girl. And then, and it's what's nice is it's near the center, so it's like a good walking distance. I was. People. They had born delicious restaurants. in Taunton. Yeah. No, you were not born. Yes, in I was. Taunton. You said I came back to Taunton for okay. three weeks. You were born in Boston. But then I came back at the Beth Israel Hospital. Very I know, but then reputable. you said you brought me Very back reputable. to Taunton. My OBGYN was Dr. Hellerstein. She never, she never body shamed me. Even you after lived in Taunton? I lived in... Mother, true or false, I came back to Taunton when I was born. As East an infant. Taunton. Okay, well, I'm a Taunton girl. So I had a condo at River Bend. Mm-hmm. Great community. Yeah. And so and did I. There's some great condos Okay, we bought it on a bank, full of clo- bank foreclosure. My monthly mortgage, $413 a month. Oh, my God. I'm on. And I said to Jason, oh, those are the days. How are we going to afford this? <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine. Then, <laughs> I can't even fathom in my mind. I can't even And so I fathom. was, so uh, whilst in labor whilst. pains, whilst in labor pains, I was um, making my own deal on the condo, selling it, um, because we were building a house in Foxborough. Nice. So, so I we, am, so I'm a taunting girl. East. I'm an East Taunton girl. Taunton. You lived in East Taunton for East three Taunton weeks. For three weeks, baby. Yep. Wow. I bleed black and orange. That's amazing. Yeah. Then, then we moved. Foxborough. Yeah, we moved to Foxborough. And, and then, there was no Jews. And I love Foxborough. Mm-hmm. But Alexa, I said, Mom, I'm, why am I the only Jewish person in my class? <laughs> she goes, whoop, time to go. <laughs> 
I love Foxborough, but who? there is no diversity. Who is the teacher that talked Talk about, about the thorn of crowns wasps. and you came home crying? My second grade teacher, okay? <laughs> I don't even, I'm not going to say her name, but was that East it was an East End. Oh. <laughs> she goes, Jesus put the thorn of crowns with the blood dripping. I'm like, Alexa came Why? Home second Why grade. Why was Jesus? Second grade. Second grade, yeah, okay? Little... And she also did other. She yeah. like remember she like pulled my ponytail. Yeah, she pulled a lot. Like nowadays, tail. there'd be lawsuits and but mother's like, eh, get mine. Mm. Mother didn't feel like fighting with the yeah, school. I know, I'm not interested. No, those are big earrings. <laughs> well, they hurt my ears. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> they're Wait, like they handcuffs. They're so heavy. <laughs> those are like Khloe Kardashian. Earrings. We're gonna need to get to surgery on your lobes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I already do need. I do well, need to get my. Speaking lobes of the stitched. Kardashians, Kris Jenner got her ear lobes done. Not her ears, her lobes. Oh, she what got, did she have done to them? She cut so them. she cut. They were hanging, so she uh, cut them, mm. and then they like, do your lobes hang yeah. low. Da, 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 da. So sh- you can get your lobes done. Oh. Not well, your ears, ears not your, your ears nose. It's called Never a lobe. It's called 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 You have a very it's cute nose. You do. No. You have a cute nose. That I feel like your kids have mm. the cutest noses, too. Mm. They have better noses. My mom has a great nose. I have like that. You have a little button nose. It's a Swedish pug, like a no, Swedish nose. I think nose it's like adorable. Father's. Let's Maybe. talk about Diana. What's she doing for traveling these days? Mm. She's going to Diana Brink. Who's Diana? My mom. She goes everywhere. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's quite all right. I follow her. Yeah. No, I think she's got a trip coming up to Myrtle Beach with oh, her friends. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, I heard yeah. that's so fun. Yeah, they do that every year. And then, I love a trip. Yep, yep. She'll probably have like a Florida trip in the winter. They usually go February or something. Where in Florida? Um, the West Coast. I was just going to say they're not on the Jewish coast. Sarasota, I was just Brayden, say, 10, yeah. Naples. That is the Goyam Yeah, yeah. Like they're it's all go to the gorgeous. West. The Jews go to the East. I will <laughs> say, having gone in and out of West Palm a couple times now, Mayor, are you are you so are, easy? Are you an East Coast girl? I it's so it. easy. I love both coasts. You there. know why uh, it was easy, Meredith? Well, because I was with you guys. Because you were <laughs> flying mosaic because <laughs> of me, <laughs> and I had to sit in row thirty-five thousand. <laughs> now on the way by down. Myself, on the way down. To the breakers, yeah. I didn't realize that because I'm mosaic and booked her flight, she was mosaic. Now, what it means to be mosaic on JetBlue is number one, you get a seventy-pound bag. Wow. Number two, and I'm like, I only have you get two. a free second bag. Mm. Wait, so how do I get I mosaic? Have, you have to spend a lot of money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I had two bags. Mm-hmm. Meredith K. Keach had two bags. Mm-hmm. Then, of course, you get priority. Seating. Boarding. You guys are already boarding. Yeah. Yeah. So totally everybody move out of our way. We are mosaic. Yeah. Very we important. We got on the plane. And number three, you do get a free drink. Wow. So Which Meredith t- yeah. partook. We well, had our actually, own Actually, I still have the nip in my bag. Mm. Yeah. We had our own it. exit row. No one sitting next to us. And I thought, wow, do I feel rich? So I posted on social media and said, what Hashtag better, famous Daniel what's Meath. better than having a whole exit row to yourself? And somebody wrote... <laughs> First class. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I probably deleted, deleted post. my post. <laughs> yeah, like man, nice wow, try. do I feel poor? <laughs> nice try, first class. <laughs> I mean, is there? How do you get on first class? I want the ones with money. the beds yeah. and the whole yes. thing yeah. where you I don't think have, we to have to interact. It's called money, yeah. people. You just pay it off somewhere. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but have any of you ever flown private? Mm. Oh, yes, my. Alexa and I both flew private. God, I when I tell you, you literally, we pulled up, they put, they threw our bags, they don't even, they don't care what's in it, we had alcohol, like who even cares? Throw it on, we go in, we take, we take off. Wow. We were drinking and dancing and have, it was like. Just the best experience. It's a different lifestyle. Oh, yeah, totally. The, like, I, I can't think that's even, the one thing I'd buy if I I'm was getting wealthy, giddy. is a plane, a plane with yes. a pilot. Right, oh. because why do you, mm-hmm. right. why should you I would have a personal chef. That yes. too. I'm saying that would be the first thing. I oh would yeah. Do. You know, I thought about that, but then I wouldn't be able to go out anymore. Yes, you could. They'll just put it in the fridge. Well, you just well, maybe not, not in your lifestyle, sir. but my lifestyle right now. Yeah, I would have no. Who so wants to cook listen for those to this. People. So Brooke, Brooke has a, a a friend, and her boyfriend is a personal chef, and it's he goes he does mostly I think everyday lunch and dinner at least or breakfast, and it's mm. just like the most amazing right. meals. Right. Yes, and, and they have them, everybody's dem- everybody's not demographic, but everybody's he makes criteria. Makes the most delicious, healthy Can you meals. Alexis, Mike. Mm. Mm. Oh, really? I can't. Mm. But it's, it's well, I talk loudly anyway. It's, can. it's going through my head. <laughs> You're not the most quiet either. Now there's now a lull. I have, now I have to whisper. Yeah, we're gonna try to oh, 
was a lot for me. I mm. and she started this, talking in my head. Like and this morning, see for me, I just feel like I'm at home. Carrie probably yeah. too. And this morning, oh, the we bickering were on the team never meeting, ends. Yeah. And my microphone, I yeah. guess, was off, and it was yeah. like oh. the last she was coming over yeah. like a megaphone. <laughs> I couldn't. Well, it's like having a 13-year-old so boy I near you who has off. no sense of space, mm -hmm. volume, um, hitting. Oh, and I'm going to talk to my dentist because <laughs> my kids have been going to the dentist lately and they come home with those little slap sticky things. Oh, yeah. That then I get whacked mm -hmm. in the face with, with gales of laughter Ew. in the background. And I'm thinking about my dentist and... Needs to put an well, end to it. Well, they can't give candy. Yeah. I mean, that's not a good look. What yeah. They well, they don't need to, to be give sticky slap things that I get whacked around the face while I'm driving home. I kind of like that. I do not, and I'm actually going to put an end to it. Oh. Actually, now you will say no more sticky. I'm going to say cake, children. fun sucker. Yes. Yeah. I am definitely. Do you fun know what coach. my uncle did to my aunt once? This is years ago. He loves toys and stuff, and he had a blow dart, and he goes a blow dart. Yeah. Like oh. A, yeah. And and he goes, hey, to and my aunt, he goes, I'm going to target and try to hit your butt with it. And she goes, is it going to hurt? And he goes, no. And he blows it, the thing hits her right in the ass. And it's like. Wait, was it like a needle? pain, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> my kids would find this wonderful. Exactly. So I'm he's scared. a giant child. This happened so many years ago. And it's like, we oh. bring it up every time we see it because it's so funny. She like trusted that it wasn't going to hurt. It was a blow dart. She like, like walks with hurt. a limp today from it. What's that? She probably walks with a limp today. <laughs> yes. So bad. Oh, terrible. Yeah. I Give was my scared of the blood I would have a fit. Yeah. yeah. Two of three <clears throat> head cavities. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the one who didn't I blame is the least, mother. least likely to brush his teeth. <laughs> I blame the other the two were yeah. offended. My kids. That he didn't well, have did any. Did my youngest kids, not have any? Correct. Excuse me. Neither one of my children had cavities. Did you guys do the fluoride mm. stuff when they were little? Like Alexa, the pills you never had a cavity. No neither pills, did Gregory. The they go to the dentist and they do it. No. back. Like remember when they were like toddlers? Mom. Alexa, you never had a cavity. How do you know? Because you don't I remember. am your mother. But you don't remember Alexa, I, when anything. it comes to the dentist. You don't even remember what high school I went to. I'm dying feel, a slow death here. Well, I feel right at home. Why? Me and mother yelling? Yes. Oh, it's nothing new. Do you guys have any good real estate stories? Anything freaky? I almost got murdered scared? here. Yeah, yeah, that's, okay, that's what it was. Let me hear about the Man murder. I almost got murdered. The murder. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear about this. Well, I have to be cautious how I tell the no, story. No, right, I know. Just say, I would just... Wait, but how did the actual you don't have to come say about? you don't have to say the town you don't have to say Anything. where you met him. Well, you know what? The bottom line is just a reminder for personal safety for realtors. Well, I have a story after yours. You know, you meet people, like you're in vacant gun. homes, Shh. and you just have to practice safety. Or safety in numbers is a great yeah. You know, so our situation was we met someone, went to go to their house, and um, just felt uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. You had that inner feeling. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. screaming. I've had that once and I was alone in the house. So I know what you're saying. Thankfully, yeah. we weren't alone, mm -hmm. but my colleague felt the same way. Mm -hmm. And um, you got to just trust. So this is what you do, right? When I just thought when you're mm -hmm. alone at the open house mm -hmm. and he's creepy. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hi. Yep. You'll be here in five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I can stay on the phone with you. Right. Can I help you, sir? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. You, you, and, you, you know. Well, yeah, because they're, I mean, we've watched the datelines where the, you know, realtors do. Get murdered. Yeah. And, and beheaded. Yes. <laughs> well, let me yes. tell you what happened to me. So oh I God. I think I can mention this because it's like, a, it's a real case, but yeah. I had um, t uh, clients. It's like I was first starting out in real estate. So I think it was like six years ago. So we were taking them to all these cute little places because their budget was super tight. And so we came across, across this like cute little lakefront cottage community in Hanson. And I showed them this house and it was very small, one level, two bedrooms, just one bath. Super cute. They, somebody had um, redone it, right? Like they had a cottage and whatever. It was a little too small for them. And so they were like, yeah, we're not interested. Well, the next person that buys it is this woman named Sandra. And now she's missing. So there, there's a whole, so her Wait name, yeah, Sandra Crispo from Hanson. Yes. So I showed that house. She was the, actual, you know, before she bought it. And then she bought it, moved in. And she had been living there for about a month and a half. And she, there's, you, it, she's gone. Do you remember all the Facebooks posting, <clears throat> where's Sandra, where's Sandra? Yeah, that was just the, off the Just off the planet. Oh, I have gone. Goosebumps. And her daughter is a huge advocate to try to find out what's going on. And, oh my God, I chose. I mean, yeah. And Can you imagine your mother goes missing? No. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And she was like the caretaker of her kids, you yeah. know, the grandchildren. And she had a dog. So the dog was there and it, the Wait, lights the dog... were all on oh, and sure. her bed looked disheveled. So something definitely oh, happened. Chose. And I was in that house. I have full body chills. Yeah. Sad. So sad. Anyways, so that's my weird real Oy. estate. Um, chilling well, story. Some of my open houses, my father will just come and sit there, <laughs> yeah, and then good. try to talk real. I'm like, Dad, <laughs> first of all, you're gonna like get me sued because no, yeah. <laughs> and he'll just sit there and be like, "So, what do you think of the place?" I'm like, "Oh, this is just my dad. <laughs> Don't worry." And he's like, "So, uh, Tired where else security. are you looking?" I'm like, "Dad." Yes. Oh my God, he's so nosy. <laughs> yeah, but still, that's. I mean, that's what but you know. What, what? today reminded At us all to say, good. like, trust yeah. your instincts. Don't put yourself in a situation. It's all worth it. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's doing. Doing what you can't, so it's kind of helpful. Exactly, <laughs> like it's just funny. Right, I'm like, Dad, true. please don't ask them any questions. Yeah, but he's not a realtor, right? No, so true. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you know, when I was a little girl, my dad owned an apartment building in Stoughton, and I used to listen to him on the phone, and he used to ask the applicants, "How old are you?" <laughs> the most. What's your nationality? <laughs> he. Every fair uh, housing law, you have. He no. What do you weigh? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you do for work? What do you give a yeah. job? Yeah. I'm like, Dad, I'm pretty sure now that I'm a realtor yes. that you were breaking the law. Violated. Yeah. Violating the yes. Well, mm. he might have been the catalyst for those laws. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, don't forget when he would just key right in. Personal <laughs> space? Nope. Papa would key right in. Oh, we had one of those. We lived. I lived in Southie with a couple of my girlfriends, and like how illegal. we found out that he was going into our apartment. <laughs> was he sniffing your panties? When we weren't there. God well, who was this? Who Papa said somebody was le left him cookies, so we would key in and eat the cookies. I don't know about that. He would mosey on around. I mean, now these days you have to worry about people putting cameras in places like that and watching you. Yeah. Oh, God. My mm -hmm. father would have been in jail if this mm. was. I oh mean, I kind of feel badly for the people if they're looking at me. You know, you no. get to a point like Hence they're the probably looking for Alexa, not me. Area. Yeah. What about when you're going to house and you're like. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have to do heat You just mm -hmm. have to assume that this camera's in every yeah, single we just property. Have to, so but sometimes I forget. I and just you talk know the and sellers like, I don't are care. watching the, yeah. everything you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah you got to be careful. Yeah, you, and I've heard people say, oh, I heard you on the ring doorbell, or I saw yeah. you. Who is yeah. that? And I was like, oh my God, I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> One time Alex and I were doing an open house, we knew there was a camera. We're like, <laughs> oh, yeah, we were like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, I couldn't get my damn camera to work. I'm like, oh, oh. we're dancing and singing to you. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, so I mean, my clients, you. even before the cameras, would just turn the iPad on and hide it. It's kind of oh. scary. Yeah. Yeah. I've well, had people text me, who, who are you talking to right but now? But you know what? I'm if like, you're about to get murdered and they're listening, well, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Right. No. I mean, that murder was going to jail. You're not doing anything <laughs> wrong. I don't say jail. anything that would be no. offensive. No. I really don't. I People do. could listen to me all day long. Yeah. Sometimes I'm do. extremely offensive. Yeah, I was going to say, yes. I'm. <laughs> I'm a little offensive sometimes. But, but so. it's more like just potty mouth. Like yeah. I'm not. Oh, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I'm not. Really... They hear me hear me screaming at my kids maybe. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is daily for me. Sometimes I just have to leave I and cry in my car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of moms do that, right? Yeah. Do we leave and then cry? Yeah. Somewhere. I, I Let it all out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. take a nap. I take a nap. My mother used oh, to I say, do. don't you think it's every woman's fantasy to get in the car and, and keep driving? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And never, never come back. Sweet Mimi. Mm -hmm. I go, oh, is that your fantasy, mom? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when she said, you might not bond with the baby? Yes. <laughs> I was having the baby. She goes, I just want to talk to you. You may not bond with the baby when you have the baby. I go, what do you mean? She, she goes, says it as the baby's goes, like being you're handed right. to you. She goes, you don't know the She's baby. She's like, eh. it's going to take you a while to bond with a baby. Oh, Guess God. what, Gary? That explains a lot. Yeah. You, now you know why. Like, don't most people instantly? Yeah. Like, right. Some people yes. don't. Yeah. So then I decided not to bond with the baby, also known as Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> So sad. <laughs> I mean, I was obsessed with my kids, but then like they just like now I just well then we left get alone. Yeah, um, right. It's yeah. too much. We're a lot. Right. I will say, even there's Alexa, lots of drama. I know I'm a lot. Alexa, yeah. I'm gonna have a daughter-in-law. Yes, yeah. congratulations. Yeah, so yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah. And she's the easiest. She's the opposite of me. She's so easy and sweet and mm. low maintenance. That's great. Cousin Lois sent them a wedding planner. That's so sweet. I know. Oh, my God. I love yeah. her. Oh, That's she's so nice. So I have to talk about an engagement party. Yes. So we'll have to discuss. That might be wow. next podcast. Yeah. Mm. Can you have it at the Cuisa Garden? I think it's like the prettiest place in the area. Mm. 
well, they're the from, weather. They're from knitting. Worcester area. Oh. So I feel like they're trying to do right mostly in the middle. I don't. Know. I don't know. I don't know. But I do love. This Quisa. is all new territory. I love for me. Garden. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah. Well, There's who plans a dress in who your plans future? Who plans the engagement party? The I'm gonna have to definitely go on Ben Fen. Ben Fen. I need Ben Fen before mean, the wedding. Does engagement parties Talk aren't necessarily customary around here in the Northeast. What's that? Engagement parties. Yeah. Really? They're 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 well, less you, common. But not you, that you wouldn't do it. Yeah, but it's just not like an automatic. It isn't. So I talked to I talked to Olivia. And I said, and Gregory, I'm like, would you guys want an engagement party? Mm. She goes, I don't know. So then she came back a few days later. She goes, you know, we were talking about it. It maybe it wouldn't be so horrible since neither of us ended up having college graduation because of COVID. Oh, and they oh were, yeah, that's and nice. Yes. They never got a party so either. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, they you have should. to. Gregory throw them walked a party. up my yeah. indoor stairs with his gown yeah. and cap on, and that was his graduation. And I took oh. photos of them. In yeah. the back of mother's mm. condo yeah. by the water. That's and I depressing. Well, so I an think outdoor they venue might be a tough. Party. Yeah. I would do something in this t- time mm-hmm. And then it's like, cold. who do you invite? Yeah. Do you just invite your immediate or do you invite? Well, because we have like 50, imme- mm. 50 wine scenes essentially. Mm. And then Probably I don't more. know what's going to happen with the wedding. Yeah, I but an, I mean, an engagement party doesn't have to be a sit down dinner. No. I mean, no, it right. really doesn't. Isn't it right. more just like some drinks and some apps? It can be around, anything. And you call it could a day. Be, yeah, it could be it's anything. It's like a baby shower. It's nothing crazy. Yeah. yeah. I'm overwhelmed. You can <laughs> even do a lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do, do a lunch? Do they have a wedding a like idea? Meredith when only does want, lunches. I think they want <laughs> next September. Yeah. Right? Next no, September. in two years. Oh, no. two years. I was going to say next 25. September. They probably won't September find 20th, oh, never 2025. Mind. 2025. Mm-hmm. I will be busy. Wow. Well, I think if you're going to do an engagement party, you got to do it soon. No, oh, yeah, I know. Mm. You got to get on it. Oh, yeah. I know. We kind of do. I have to figure that out. Amelia's? I don't know. Love that place. Well, it depends what your numbers are. I don't know if the Amelia's will be big enough. La Cucina mm. downstairs? No. Too small, right? Aren't those yeah. rooms small? I yeah. was berated. How about the new Porticello speakeasy? Alexa, what are you doing? What is that? Tapping Did you out. see the Porticello restaurant? I no. Saw it. Where is it? I have a speakeasy. He's Where? made a speakeasy no in the back room. Yeah. Oh, I need one. Oh, wait. I think I saw that on Facebook. Mayor, yeah. I still love it. He painted it dark and yeah. put swanky furniture. Mayor, that's so mm-hmm. you. Do you want to go? Can yeah. you smoke okay. a cigar? I will. I- I feel like we need to we need to light up like a parliament <laughs> long and get it going there. Do, do you have to I be careful with flapper. nicotine? Yeah, nicotine and fen fen. Can you do can both? You smoke a I, I'm like this. It's like no, drinking I don't four smoke. locos. Yeah, no, no, no thank smoking. You. No. What about vaping? You're a vapor. No, no, no. you're a vapor. No. And everyone knows. I have it. a lot of friends that vape. No, I'm not. So, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I Carrie felt. just touched me into the table. I did. Yeah. I'm sorry. Does that mean you? Does that mean you vape? No, no, not at all. Sorry, it was my leg. No, I know. Well, uh, yeah, I have a lot of vapor friends. Mm. Yeah, well, it's kind of vapors, like, but now they they can't stop. It's like a global. It's like is it pandemic, pandemic or endemic? It's just phenomenon. Like hands on it easily. It's everywhere. But I mean, remember, like, all they did was talk about popcorn lung, and so and then yeah, when wait, we after our, so if you vape that from I, vaping popcorn, well, but you, then COVID came, and that was the end of popcorn lung. If you vape, is it only weed or no, nicotine? It's, it's, nicotine. Most, there's nicotine when you vape, in it. it. Yeah. And none well, of these, none of those, these kids, those are the ones that the kids can all get it because you have to be what? Do you have to be eighteen to yeah. get those? But none yeah. of them, none of them ever even smoke cigarettes. Right. I'm like, go smoke a cigarette. I like nicotine. <laughs> you do. Maybe you should become a vapor. You should. You know what? Want me to get you one? No, I chewed the gum for a while. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm not a smoker. Married I had an addiction mm. to nicotine gum. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this. No, that made me so lightheaded. I almost passed out. You I liked chewed it, it in oh, Israel. That's so and I was funny. Like, I like the nicotine. Mm. It's a little rush, but I had to stop because yeah. it had a little grip on me. So I said, "That's enough." Oh man. No yeah. more gum. Nice. The nicotine addiction. Yep. Nice. Should we bring it back? The Nick a dick. I mean, I don't know. They'd say fully addicted. Were you less hungry? I like to on say the Nick you were addicted. I, when I when I was like, this is enough, and then I, all I was thinking about was the gum. I was like, oh, this had a little grip on me. <laughs> had to be done with it. But nicotine, a little bit, it's a little buzz. Yeah. Fun. That's oh, it. Right. Yeah. I, you know when the guys they do the, um, the chew or the dip, they now say it's the same thing. Zin. Oh. So yeah, I tried that, Zin. Zin is a thing. Well, yeah. I've, I've tried. That. I've tried Zin. <laughs> It brings it you right you to numb. the brink of being like, oh, I'm getting lightheaded. So yeah. when I, I went to University of South Florida, <laughs> and everybody dipped and spit. Oh, mm. And yes, especially so I, all my friends were on the baseball team. Mm. Do you want to know what's like the most disgusting bitters. thing ever? I was at a party in high school. I thought it was a beer. Oh, no. A no, 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 you didn't. No, no, I don't know no. if I would have admitted that. Let's not go there. Let's not yep, that makes that me gag just like Meredith's lipstick on her cup. 
Give me a little buzz. Adam, get a tight shot of Meredith's just. <laughs> Disgusting. No, no, here, hold it up. No. <laughs> she won't. No. Oh, oh, it's Meredith. <laughs> it's just your red lipstick. Nope. Nope. She's covering oh, it. The Meredith. camera's coming in tight. You know, All right. Meredith, if you can't share things with your community. I want, I have a question. What? Can you remove your hand for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to know outdoor decorating at your home. Uh, like Halloween, I, like it's a September. Yeah. September is for apples mm -hmm. and fall, light fall decor. We are not in the month of Halloween. Yeah, I have everything Halloween in my house right oh. now. Mm. I am so She's offended. She's one of those. Mm. She's one well, of those. The kids, the kids you, go, we love when you put out all this. They love the fall. So I had to switch out all my summer stuff. I mean. Was it the fan fan? Can't we just the hold on? And <laughs> that. <laughs> on Halloween for one you know I agree. through the end of this weekend. You know what, Meredith? It's none of your business. Apparently it is because I drive by it all. I see all the ghosts. Oh, okay. I see yeah. all the Frankenstein. The skeleton. The, the skeleton. It's just like um, the ghost. Man, I haven't seen one Halloween decoration. Oh, Meredith. I am going to start to take pictures and snap every day. I'm going to snap them to one. one. It's yeah. just like social media. Mm. Just scroll by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just keep going. You know what? I might take a stand on this. All right. She takes a stand on daytime. <laughs> Savings. Bring it to oh, yeah. the <laughs> Nothing makes early Meredith decorative. more early <laughs> than daylight savings. So yes. I, I had the opportunity to sit I was going to say, didn't someone talk to um, Senator Tim Kennedy? Timothy. Is it? No. no. It wasn't. It was Kennedy. Oh, it, Was yeah. it Tim? It was oh, Senator you know Kennedy. He doesn't know what he's doing, okay? The he knows handsome, nothing. Ha very handsome <laughs> redhead. I said, Is excuse me. Wait, did he date Taylor Swift? oxymoron. I go, excuse Sorry. me, yes. Senator Kennedy. Sorry, redhead. What's going to happen with daylight savings? He said, he said that will never go away. Wow. You know what? So did the loan officer who Alexa Don't consulted. Don't talk about Kennedy. He is handsome. So he said the science has shown mm. that it's beneficial for kids to wake up with some sunlight. So you can tell your He's friend. He's not wrong. Meredith oh. K. Keach. That it is Look at Meredith that. sulking. Look I at her. I couldn't wait to go the next day and tell Meredith. It, is, it's it is correct. I mean, imagine it's hard getting out of bed and when it's dark out, right? When those days, January, February, it's that, like, or actually, it's Alexa, like, Alexa, you can barely Florida. get out of bed mm, ever. Is. Mm. That's Alexa, why I need Fen Fen. I'll start going I'm tanning. Tired. I will go to the yeah, tanning booth and we make love, myself feel better. This is a tanning Doctor, space. Actually, Dr. McDougal said he... <laughs> Dr. Here McDougall said he's Here fine with the tanning booth. back to the baked potatoes. Because he says, do not, do you know that he said, do not take vitamin D? He goes, it is mm. so bad for you. Oh my God, I don't believe he said, any of this. I don't know. Guys, but he, well, what do, do you your say own about, research. What do you say I could tan less when anyone does. It was a, like when my dental hygienist said, Sounds you like need a, a crown. Mm. And I said, cult. I don't want a crown. And she said, dear, I don't really care because mm. it's not my mouth. You do what you want. So I'm just giving you the information. Mm. Adam. Stay in your lane. Adam, why are you staring over here? We were what? communicating. What are you because guys talking about? Because he thinks you're in a cult. What are you guys talking about behind my back? <laughs> because he is dialed 911. I don't care. You guys say, you guys, if anybody has any feedback on Dr. McDougal. You know what? I just want to say I'm a little disappointed that we didn't drink mint juleps again. Oh. I know. We do like I was drinking. thinking mimosas, but. I would have. I would have. I got all flash mm. in the face. Yeah, but can you imagine? We don't shut the hell up and we're not even drinking. We'd be. <laughs> Drunk, we'd be slurring. <laughs> Nobody would listen. It'd be fun. No, it would be. Really Want it? We should get drunk next time. Mm -hmm. I think Carrier Polo should come on once a month. I'm in. You in? Yeah, yeah. We just love her so much. What about me? She, mm -hmm. eh, you're a lot. Mm -hmm. Every other. Every other. <laughs> I haven't been on in like six months. Alexa and I partied last week. Like we rock did. stars. In the, was this in Florida? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys we, look like you had an awesome. Oh trip. my god, it was yeah amazing. Yeah. I slept in bed with Meredith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She I said, didn't... get up, you're rotting. Right. I said, you know what? <laughs> I, I, I don't. Alexa can sleep with you, Meredith, in your room. And I said, I, I want I stumbled Alexa in 4 a.m. I go, Mary, do not look at the clock. I had Auntie Benny. <laughs> she had the most beautiful facial products all. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. I all... loved your cabanas, too. Oh, yes. The bungalow 13. Yeah, was so so bungalow cool. 13, baby. Oh, yeah. So is that for the beach and the pool? Or you know what? Is that... I have a gripe. Oh, what? No. Guess who worked number 10. all Here comes day number 10. in right. bungalow 13? 13. Meredith Kiki. It was a great place to work. Yeah. I loved it. 
If you have to work, being close to a beach and a pool. And I don't in idle. I don't idle. What am I going to do? Just sit I there? love idling. It's so I mean. Can't idle. If you don't idle, you party. I went in the pool. I went in the ocean. I hung out in the bungalow. I got food. I got drinks. I did all of it. And I also did my listings. Mm-hmm. Um, it's me. It's 59. I know. We got 50 we seconds. We have to go. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Love you all. I don't even know it's what happened. Real. What did we even... Like, once again, I've no Anybody want to go to lunch or something? Yes. <laughs> I will. No, yeah. she's on Fan Fan. She doesn't oh, eat. I know. Um, I eat salads. You can watch very us. healthy stuff. <laughs> um, I have something I have to do, I okay. think. Okay. But all anyway. Right. I'm in recovery. As always, I'm lot. free and ready to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I am too. Let's do this. <laughs> all right, girls. Well, thanks. Thanks for having us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming, Care. Thank you. Love you, ladies.